So for today, we're going to be looking at Divinity specifically if it needed a nerf or not. Uh, I would love to know your guys' thoughts about this in the comments below. Be respectful because obviously I'm not going to be shaming anyone. I'm not going to be like pointing fingers or anything. This is just a discussion because at the end of the day, I agree with a lot of his takes, but I also think he's not the person to say those takes. Now, I'll explain my thought process and, and whatnot in a bit, but if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help. But let's talk about this because I think it's important to realize why people got as mad as they did. So if you guys don't know who Salt Grippo is, he is like the th three time champion of winning raid races or something. He's won the raid race like three times in a row or some shit. He's like a top tier of the top tier. Man has three manned uh, almost everything in the game. Apparently, I don't watch his content. I don't follow him as a content creator, but I respect the fact that he is like the 1% of the 1%. That's cool. And I think respect should be given. My. I don't even think it's an issue because I, like I said, I agree with most of his takes. I do think Divinity did trivialize the end game a lot, but I also do think that it helps the lower bracket of skilled players, I guess you would say, because if you guys have ran LFGs and whatnot, you guys will know that some people cannot do anything like anything competent and Divinity really helps out. But again, I think a lot of the takes that he had were so well written and kind of on point. My only gripe is I think if they, well, they, they are going to nerf Divinity apparently. If and when they nerf Divinity, I just think the the boss's uh, health pool for almost everything should lower to account for Divinity's percentage. I think if, th if that were to be fixed or not fixed, but if that were to be changed, then it would alleviate a lot of problems because then at that point, people wouldn't run, wouldn't have to run divinity. They would just have to hit their shots. And even then a, div a divinity nerf would just impact the percentage. It wouldn't impact the crit bubble. So I think still having the crit bubble there, but not have a, like a damage multiplier on it would be fine. Uh, the reason I think people really lost their shit over it is because <sighs> Greppo's not like not a medium tier player. He's not like bottom tier. He's someone who's like the one percenters look at him at all. Like he is the epitome of like this dude is skill incarnate. I don't think he is the best person to be saying this, although some people would argue well, he's the person that plays the game the most. He would be the most like the person to say, I understand that thought process, but it you have to see it from a regular person's mind. It's like this dude who who does all the content in the game without breaking a sweat is telling me that Divinity's too broken and I need to stop using it. It comes across as rich people problems, essentially like Oh, this gun trivializes this, this play that I'm doing. I want it to be nerfed so I can have a harder time. And that's what people immediately think. Like, I just want the game to be harder because it's too easy for me. Even though most of the shit I do is wildly unthinkable for most people. I do think I see both sides of the argument. Like I am a thousand percent like divinity should get nerfed. I think it's a little too powerful. It does trivialize a lot of the end game because you just have to put divinity on it and just not think but at the same time is the end game really that complicated that we need like oh it trivializes like bro it's already not that crazy of an end game to begin with i mean aside from just hitting your shots that's it most of the game is just shit's just spongy as fuck like so much health spongy that's just not like i don't know for me i'm like in the middle of it like i do understand divinity and I do understand why people think it trivializes the game, which to a certain extent I do agree with. But at the same time, I do think Divinity is a crucial tool for people that are in lower tiers of skill. And at that point, it's almost like required because without it, people wouldn't be doing the content. But then we get to another point where it's like, well, I mean, at that point, if they need this weapon to be good, should they even be doing the end game content? And at that point, you're just like, I don't know, man. Like, I think me personally, I'm, I'm going to make a video on this soon, but I think it all comes down to reward systems. Uh, I think we need a proper 
uh, tier list for raids because the TLDR for this is World of Warcraft and even Final Fantasy 14, they all have tier lists to their raids and specifically World of Warcraft. I'm gonna explain a little bit more for that one. It has LFG tier, which is just regular. It's it's a match made. You don't have to worry about anything. But the rewards is you get armor usually that's lower lower uh, light level than everything else. But you get the gear. Like you at least get something and you get to experience the raid. Then you get to higher tiers. You get to normal, which is just normal, regular, but you get higher light level. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anything too crazy. And then you get to mythic, if I remember correctly. And mythic is you get the best light level stuff in the game and you usually get like a mount and in in world of warcraft mounts are like super super cool so in this case it would probably there really isn't an equivalent to mounts in destiny 2 the closest would be like sparrows but no one cares about sparrows so i don't really know what i guess an armor set like not not an armor set but like an ornament set would be the closest thing because people would actually lose their shit over that so imagine if king's fall had three tiers you had the lfg which is just bare bones like you don't have you, you don't need comms to complete this but you get the bare bones of light level then you get normal which is just how the devs intended the game to play and then you have mythic where it's like we made this a little harder basically master but you get the best light level of the game and you get like certain bonuses as well like maybe you get an ornament from all of that or the weapons are different or something like that and immediately people would be like oh well that's that's dumb because the top tier players are are basically always going to get the best thing and it's like i mean like that's kind of how that works though like personally i for a long time i've been in this corner where it's like i don't understand why people are why people are like everyone should do the raid and i'm like i mean like i guess like everyone should do the raid does that mean everyone can do the raid like not necessarily like i'm all for accessibility but if it hampers the experience then like i mean at that point what the fuck is the point i know that's gonna sound toxic but there should be content that like pve sweat lords should strive for and making higher tier levels of stuff i don't think is a bad thing although i do think the inverse is bad as well like making stuff that's too pve friendly that even people with no fucking mm, i shouldn't say that like people that have no situational awareness nothing they don't try to strive to be better at the game like i don't think we should give them like oh you can do the raid and still expect to get the best things that the best players in the game can get i also think that's terrible so tldr is just this dude is not the perfect person to say these things i personally agree with almost everything he said but i don't think he was the perfect person to say this because people just see oh he's look at all his accolades arc accolades like he is the first in king's fall uh dsc like all this other crazy shit and he's saying this guy needs to be nerfed he doesn't know what it feels like to be in the trenches it's like yeah he doesn't like he doesn't know how it feels to be in the trenches but that also warrants like should people in the trenches like be okay and being in the trenches like you should you be okay with just running the raid and never learning how to do mechanics or just anything in general like i don't know i'm in the middle of this let me know what you guys think i know this is going to be very polarizing for a lot of people but i'm going to be real with you guys i don't i don't subscribe to the oh my god like accessibility like all that like i do think games should be accessible but i don't think it should be at the detriment of the game itself so let me know what you guys think if you guys want to follow me again links in the description below i'm gonna get a lot of people mad about this one but that's just how i feel let me know and i'll see you guys later